Uh, this model kit review is of the 1969 Boss 302 Mustang, and it's a 125th scale model by Ravel. And I've got some nice box art here. I've got some details here about the car, as well as the dimensions. There are the colors needed. Got some very nice photographs of the finished model here. Looks like it's going to be a lot of detail there. So let's have a look inside and let's see what we've got. First of all, let's start off with the body. So here we have the body uh, very nicely molded. We've got some details here for the inside of the engine bay uh, with our battery over here. Radiator will go there. Here's a firewall. And uh, there's some nice detail here, the Mustang on the back. And I uh, don't really see a lot of mold lines, so that's good. Uh, here we have our cockpits with the rear seats, our central console in there, and uh, pedals mounted there, the pedal box. The insides of the doors are molded in. Uh, here is our exhausts. And we've got some... Uh, suspension parts there. Here are our seats. There's the front and the back. And then we've got uh, part of our front uh, grill there. You can see there the lights will go there and then probably part of our exhausts. And then uh, let's have a look over here. We've got um, this is also part of our front grill with there's the uh, Pony the Mustang We've got a front hood here. Here's our chassis with uh, our fuel tank and uh, front suspension parts. There's the uh, dashboard. We've got our, this is our radiator shroud here for the fan and the engine with the transmission molded in. Uh, here's our drive shaft and rear. Uh, suspension with axle, our side mirrors, steering wheel, we've got our wheels here, radiator, some more suspension parts here, and uh, looks like we have another engine here, I guess maybe we've got two options to build. There's our, uh, our rear, we can see the classic uh, Mustang lights, and probably some uh, exhaust pipes there. We've got the rear louvers for the windshield, the rear windshield, some more engine parts. Here's our oil pan, uh, the air filter, fan, we've got our valve covers, and then we've got our uh, belts. Here we've got our chrome parts with some more engine parts here. You can see some fairly nice detail there. Not really a fan of this chrome, but I uh, guess it's all I have to do. And then there's the uh, another, I guess the other engine parts, depending on which motor you're going to build. And then we've got uh, our uh, bumpers and lights, our wheels here. Uh, there's our uh, rear mirror and some more engine parts. And we've got our. Uh, this is probably for our tail and uh, air intake of the hood. Over here we've got uh, the classic Mustang lights, the three lights. Uh, here we've got our uh, wheel, the tires, and they've got uh, the, the uh, white riding on them already. They might have a vinyl, kind of stiff, but uh, still somewhat flexible. Here's our glass, we've got some headlights there and uh, front and rear windshield. Let's have a look at our uh, instructions here. Uh, nice decals. Not a huge amount of decals, but it's, uh, it's for a car, so they usually aren't. And then uh, we've got some details here about the car. Uh, here are all the colors needed. So we start off with the engine, 
and a fair amount of detail here on the engine. Once the engine is built, it's mounted to the frame. We've got our uh, dashboard being built and then put into the cockpit. Our seats are then built and installed. There's our radiator and the rest of the engine bay going in. Our glass is installed then, as well as the cockpit, front shock absorbers. Uh, the chassis is then put in, as well as the rear uh, axle, as well as our uh, exhausts. And we've got our suspension, and then front grille going on there, and the uh, rest of the engine parts, and rest of the front grille headlights, bumper. Then our wheels are painted and installed. And uh, now our rear uh, bumper is going on there, as well as our um, spoiler, side mirrors, and uh, the rear louver, because you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then our uh, front hood. So here is the paint and decal guide. So all in all, it's actually fairly well molded, and uh, there's a lot of detail. Decals are nicely printed, and that'll be a great build.